Hello everybody. Um, so this is my haul. I don't know how to flip the camera around, so this is this is the intro. We had a very successful day. Um, I guess let me let me uh, do a little uh, a, a run through of, of how the day went. We we went to so so we got in the car. We started driving, went to Dunkin' because I hadn't slept last night and I wanted to get some coffee. And I, and so we so we got the coffee and then we, when we started driving, it was awesome when we were listening to Howard Stern. Howard Stern was all right, wasn't great. Um, started off talking about the vaccines, um, which is all, it's just, which was funny, but it's like, you know, I've heard it all before and it just seems a little, it seemed like a little forced, I'm not gonna lie. Um, then he brought on like a Trump impersonator and he was, you know, being raunchy. Um, a little bit insensitive, um, and then uh, I guess after that, and then uh, they brought on a George Takei impersonator to uh, like spat with the Donald Trump impersonator, and um, that was funny, I guess. And then what I mean, it just kept on sort of going uh, with with um, Howard Stern, and Howard Stern was pretty funny. Um, I forget what he started talking about. He started talking about his like his friend, who was like a, who's like a pervert and a and a like a porn like a, like a stripper boss or something, and um. But I didn't because me and Brennan were talking by that point to each other, and I just didn't really get a lot of it. Um, I stopped to get some cash, and we went to um, uh, north of the border fireworks, which is like a little bit out of the way, um, but it's pretty good. Uh, it, it has like a lot of like two-for-one deals and like three-for-one deals so that we went there for the bulk of the fireworks I feel like um, and then after that was done we, we went to we drove back to Phantom Fireworks which is the big one everybody knows Phantom Fireworks and um, so I bought like a few things there a few tchotchkes a few little like Roman candles and, and bottle rockets and firecrackers and I bought a shirt there which I'll show um, and then after that, we, uh, you know, he, Brennan wanted to go home, and I was like, you know what, I feel, I feel like we should just explore the Port Jervis area, and uh, so we have this thing where we go to the Army Navy store, which is where I got that hat, which Jillian, if you could get that back, would be awesome. Um, I could pick it up from you at the lake sometime. Um, there's like some shit here. Sorry, uh, you might just get a sneak peek of my shirt, but um, so we. Yeah, but uh, we wanted to go to the Army Navy store. Closed on Mondays, unfortunately. Uh, right across from the, that store uh, is, a, is a is a restaurant called um, Brennan will tell me, but it was somebody in Tom's uh, restaurant, home of the Meanie Burger, and we went there and and we sat down, and the waiter came up and said, uh, "How are you guys doing today?" And uh, then uh, she said, uh, what are you guys doing here today? And um, we said, oh, we were just buying fireworks. And she said, oh. And then she uh, brought us our water. And uh, then I ordered the biscuits and gravy, which you might have seen if you checked my Snapchat story. Um, uh, I got the biscuits and gravy. Brennan got the mini burger, the home of the mini burger. And it was, I, I think it was really good. It was very filling. Uh, but I think it was very, very good. Um, Brennan gave me his french fries because he didn't want to eat them because they might have peanut butter oil in them because he's allergic to peanuts. Um, and then we, we start driving back and we, and we say, and I say to Brennan, you know what would be cool? We go to the bowling alley because like I feel like that's just like the center of town. It would, it would be like um, the Big Lebowski. And, and, uh, and Brennan is like, yeah, sure. All right, let's check out the bowling alley. And then we can check out the... Uh, the the Three States Monument. Um, turns out bowling alleys close on Mondays too. And, but the, uh, the the Three States Memorial was open according to Yelp. So to get there, you have to drive through a cemetery. And we drove through the cemetery. And um, the cemetery was pretty weird because then after you get through the cemetery, you have to drive like on this like, like one way road. It was like a two way road, but it was like more like a one way road through like some woods. And on the one side is like the Delaware River just pretty crazy and um you know 
uh, we get there and there is like every single type of emergency vehicle you can imagine. So like a police car, a, um, an ambulance, a fire, a fire truck. And uh, there's some like, there was some like, you know, Port Jervis drifters there too. And um, so, so we get there and then this guy, I think his name was like Officer Santori or something like that. He walks up and says, hey you guys, you're gonna have to give us a minute here. It's, it's we actually, we need the day here. And uh, we say, all right, we'll, 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 we'll head out. And uh, he says, all right, thank you guys. And then we leave. Um, a cab, BLM is sort of a vibe, you guys. BLM is, you know, I don't know. Um, and then we and then we we turn around because we didn't get to see the three the three states memorial because uh, Port Jervis is Pennsylvania, New York, New Jersey, and um, so we, uh, yeah, we. Um, what do we do next? We just start kind of driving back. I guess, and um, you know, we've had a good day. It was a little bit disappointing, but we made the best out of Port Jervis, and then we keep on driving back. And let's see here. We drive back, and then we, on the side of the road, I say, Brennan, Brennan, XXX, adult filled. And um, he swerves the car over, and we, we pull into this driveway, and and uh, we get to the we get to this like you know it's like a romantic depot but it's like not romantic depot it's like off brand romantic depot and see I'm lowering my voice because I don't want my parents to hear that I went to a porno shop you know a smut shop and um we get there and there's this really nice bouncer he's like all right you guys you know she says if you're vaccinated you guys can just go on in and he said oh okay thank you so we take our mask. And uh, we go in and we give the woman $5 to go to the private viewing rooms. This is where it gets pretty crazy, you guys. You guys want to tune into this. Um, we get in there and there's like this one fat dude, uh, not myself. And there's this one like Twinkie Asian dude. Um, we all have masks on because we don't want people to see our face. Um, and uh, there's like different like like booths. And we just sort of stand there. I don't know why we were just standing there because there were like a couple open booths. They're like stalls sort of. And um, you go in there and you, you drop the tokens into the, into like a, a token slot. Um, and it just starts playing porn basically. Um, but I'm standing there. I don't really know what to do. And then I see this like shape moving in the in there's like there's like a like i guess it's a glory hole basically but it, it's got glass covering it so it's like a window into the booth next to me and i see this like this like something moving in the glass and i don't know what the fuck is going on so i just sort of stand there and i'm like recording on snapchat because i was like trying to record the ambiance and so and then i see like i get a little closer to see who it is see what what's going on in there and there's a guy just looking at me and he starts like he has like money in his hand and he starts tapping on the window and I just stand there I don't know what to do and and then I just like I like do like a little wave and then he gets up and leaves um so that was shocking to me and um then I inserted it inserted the the token into the the slot and thankfully Thankfully, it just immediately went to gay porn and not straight porn. So, it, like, it knew that I was there. Um, and, um, so, but then, like, there's, like, this, like, weird, like, really, like, nasally moaning coming from the stall next to me. And then that's when I get the text from Brennan, Stevie, let's get the fuck out of here. Um, and we do. We leave. Um, and then I, like, I'm freaking out in the car. And when we're, when we're just recovering from that, we, we see this, like, Brennan points out this cool hippie store, and I say, Brennan, pull the car over, we're going there. And then Brennan pulls the car over, and we go there. And um, it was a really cool store. They had, had some pretty cool stuff. Um, it was, like, hippy-dippy, um, like, uh, you know, drug rug fucking clothing and, like, tapestries and all that stuff. And uh, I buy a few tchotchkes and, and you know, what, what have yous and and uh, trinkets and stuff, and uh, I buy a shirt there too. 
Um, Brennan buys a corn cup pipe. I bought a corn cup pipe too. Um, and then we just are going on the way home and we listen to the comedy channel. Some of them are not hitting as much, uh, like a Mitch Headfield. I think he was, he was really bad, but uh, there were some good ones there too. And uh, we just, we have a nice ride home. And uh, we ride home, my dad pulls in at the same time that we do. And uh, we just, you know, we hoo-ha and we say hello and all that. That was pretty much it, that was our day, so.